everybody. Adjusting the lights here for our Facebook Live presentation of Art Talk today, uh, this week's Art Talk. Uh, looking pretty good. Lighting's not too bad. Got my Superman shirt on. It's backwards. Uh, a backwards S stands for, um, I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. Uh, this is Art Talk. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you can be creative as as you wish. Uh, we're waiting for people just to kind of start to roll in. Uh, we are live on Facebook, and this gets recorded and then put up on YouTube also. Uh, we are uh, here every single Monday. And uh, to give you guys an update on some of the things that Fireball Publishing Group is doing and uh, and having a good time with it. Good morning, Lisa. Welcome into the into the fold. Uh, I don't know if what your attitude is about COVID and all this stuff, but if uh, if you're heading heading out and getting some into some car shows, uh, I hope you're having a good time. Uh, people have a, have a pretty good attitude. Chris, what's up? Joseph, what's up? From Australia, Aussie man. Uh, thanks for uh, sending over the um, uh, the stuff you sent, the Vegemite. It's still in my fridge. We still have some plans with it. Uh, I might even do something tonight with it. Uh, it's possible. So uh, a lot of things going on. Uh, a lot of things happened last week. Uh, Doug Thorell, thanks for joining us. Uh, this is Art Talk. Uh, we do this every Monday at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time from Malibu, California. It's a little foggy out today. I know that in some uh, other places of the world, it's freezing cold. In other places, it's hotter than hell. And uh, we're right in the middle at the moment. But that's going to change momentarily. We have a week coming up of, of heat, so we're very excited about that. We get our granddaughter out and uh, uh, into, the, into the sun, into the beach, and that's always something fun to look forward to. That's Kathy's happy place, is the beach. Mine is, uh, I don't know, behind the wheel of something... I don't know, something like a cool station wagon, <laughs> perhaps. Uh, we're going to get into that. Uh, anyway, this is Art Talk. Uh, as I mentioned, we're live, and my company is Fireball Publishing Group. What is Art Talk? Uh, Art Talk is strategically designed um, for people like Rick Calgar in Alabama. What's up, buddy? Thanks for joining us today uh, to, to help you guys be creatively powerful, creatively strong. We are all creative. Uh, we are all artists, no matter what you say. Uh, everybody is artistic and creative in different ways. Tim McDougall, what's up? Uh, goes well with cheese. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes, it goes well with cheese. Interesting. I will have to, I'll have to look into that. But, uh, you know, uh, for, for us to be successful as artisans, uh, whether you're building a business or you're building a uh, 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 something for dinner, or you're building a home, or or whatever it is that you're focusing on, uh, it's it's good to be able to have uh, tips and techniques that help you to be creatively powerful. And what exactly does that mean? It's not necessarily what you do as much as uh, the direction that you're going and the the focus of today's art talk, which is dream big, uh, thinks uh, um, uh, focus small. Uh, dream big, focus small. Uh, good morning, my friend, says Valerie. It was a beautiful vlog you posted. You appeared to have a lovely weekend with you. We did. We had a great time. Uh, if you guys have not seen vlog 996, it is up now. Uh, thanks for watching, Valerie. Good to uh, to see that people are enjoying themselves as well. Out. Sounds like you guys had a good time going up to see Johnny. Uh, great pinstriper. Uh, so uh, we did a lot of stuff with the vlog uh, this last week, but a couple of updates. Uh, let's get into that before we start today's art talk. Uh, new books, of course, our, our Tony Dow book is out. Uh, we finally got a copy of it, which is pretty cool. I have some more uh, copies coming. We're going to be doing some signings with Tony, so I'm excited about that. Uh, we did a sketch story recently about this particular sketch, uh, and today I'm going over to their house, and we're going to do another sketch story of who it could be anything because he is uh uh, uh just got randomly picks them but uh, september 1st we have the station wagon book coming out i'm working on this particular sketch this is 1973 can you recognize it yep 73 uh-huh what is it what is it uh down in palace verdes that's where i grew up and ojai those two towns that's where i grew up positive connectivity yes johnny what's up johnny's watching in the house uh the world's fastest striper uh get up there it probably took him 12 seconds to do that helmet of yours valerie maybe 15 if he you know if he had a slow day uh i have a feeling today's art talk is going to be benefit brad and i greatly i hope so i hope so i have no idea <laughs> could be anything 
Uh, but uh, we do our best to try and help people as, as many people have helped me over the years. Yes, 73, a great year. I was eight years old. I think anybody eight years old is having a blast. That's like the greatest age in the world. Uh, a couple of things. Uh, as you guys uh, probably know at this point, Kathy has been doing custom masks and uh, she's really having a good time with these. Uh, it's it's very creative. Uh, she's doing limited editions. Uh, this one sold out right away. This is the Hot Wheels mask that she made. Uh, very cool. We sent one of those to Mike Zarnock, who's the foremost Hot Wheels aficionado in the world. Uh, but she's also doing lace masks, which are quite beautiful. Uh, and as a creative process, um, it's important, uh, you know, our our the rules we have here at Fireball Publishing, which I think you guys could adopt, uh, uh, would help, is that whatever project that you're into, you have to be passionate, you have to be excited about it. If you're not excited about it, someone makes a recommendation to you to, to work on something, you're like, well, I don't really want to do that. Uh, but if you're excited about it, then uh, it's, it's worth doing. It's worth doing. But if, as a business model, uh, not only do you have to be excited about it, but you have to be able to identify your audience. Uh, and the more that you can hyper niche that audience, uh, not down to like three people, but down to maybe 100,000, 200 uh, million people. Uh, and then the third thing is you have to have accessibility to those people. You have to be able to get to those people. So it's important, you know, what Kathy was doing mass, she did uh, this one as uh, Woody's, uh, to be able to identify those people. So she's got a, a variety of different lines, everything from um, flowers, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, and uh, And then... Because we're doing the vintage, uh, the Buellton Vintage Trailer Show, she's got a bunch of uh, vintage trailer masks, which are pretty cool. And she's having a really good time doing these. And, and, and that's important that, you know, whatever it is that you're going to explore, you're going to, uh, um, uh, you have to be passionate about it. You know, all those masks are on our website, uh, fireballtim.com, if you need a mask. But I, I don't, I'm not telling you guys this stuff to sell masks. I'm tell, telling you this because... This is our creative process, and that you have to go through the things that I'm discussing here and today's subject, dream big, focus small, uh, uh, to, uh, to, to get to the point. And, and keep in mind, you know, that we have 30, I think 35 books out now, but we wouldn't have those books if I didn't do one sketch at a time, one sketch at a time. Uh, and any, so if you're building a house, uh, it's down to one nail at a time and into a piece of wood. You know, it, it, it's, it's the progress that you make over time. So you have to have that large dream, that large vision. And that large vision could be buying a car. It could be building a house, as I said, or, or building a tree house, whatever you want for yourself. Uh, it could be um, uh, developing the world's best chocolate, whatever you want to focus on, whatever you're passionate about. But uh, the way to get stay out of overwhelm is to set your goals for the day. I understand the big picture, but set your goals for the day that are um, that are small, uh, because it, when you do that, then you feel good that you've achieved each one. Even if you said, you know, I'm going to do three things today uh, in relation to my goal, and uh, and if you do those three things, you feel pretty good. Now, if those three things take 15 minutes, then you could probably add a few more things in there. You know, my philosophy, as uh, as Tony Robbins talks about, is massive action, and I I want to do as much as humanly possible within the day to be able to achieve and get closer to the stuff that I want. Now, I set aside. Uh, one day for a sketch, and a sketch takes two to three hours to do. Uh, that's a significant amount of time. But then there's a lot of marketing. There's a lot of things that are happening uh, in relation to the bigger picture, which uh, our model is 100 books, is what we want to get to, uh, to have 100 books on the market uh, so that it covers pretty much all the things that we love to do. I have a feeling he's going to touch on a few areas that you're talking about to Brad about yesterday. Um, Okay, I can't see the rest of the message. I'm trying to press the button. It won't let me press the button. But I trust that what you have to say is cool, Valerie. Uh, I'll get to it afterward. Uh, I wanted to welcome new watchers. Anybody is out there that is uh, watching for the first time to Art Talk, uh, we're here to, to help you guys as best we can. Uh, today, as I mentioned, I'm going over to Tony Dow's and we're going to do another sketch story. He's going to talk about that stuff. Uh, and then a little bit of an update for the upcoming Muscles and Mojo and Vintage Market. Uh, because we decided a vintage market, it was revealed to us that we need a permit to do that. So we're working on that. And I think that it's going to work out. You know, we're supposed to find out the middle of this week as to whether that's uh, uh, good to go. But I I'm, I'm feel confident feel confident that it's, uh, it's something that people want to do. And it's not that complex of a thing. But permits are like $750. Bucks. Uh, it's just a matter of whether uh, we can um, uh, stick to the protocols that they 
feel are necessary. Vintage trailer mask, you know, that helps. Uh, masks and don't act like a bunch of a-holes, you know, and burn out and things like that. Uh, the last thing that we did was uh, over the Sunday, we did feature this on the blog, is the, the Malibu Village Car Show. It doesn't really have a name, so that's what I'm calling it, Malibu Village Car Show. It's happening every single Sunday. It was epic. It took over the entire Malibu Village. Uh, there was easily uh, more than a thousand people. It was absolutely a spectacular show. Uh, Jay Leno was there and a lot of uh, interesting other people. Um, uh, walking around, enjoying the cars, and having a good time. Uh, best to get there are probably about 8 o'clock or so, maybe 7.30, if you want a decent spot. Uh, it's uh, it's the new Trancus. It's the new Trancus. It's kind of like Donut Derelicts, uh, although a much nicer looking area, you know, much, you know, higher end cars, but uh, still a lot of hot rods, a lot of the stuff that I like. Okay, so let's get into today's um, uh, Art Talk Dream Big Focus Small. It seems like it's a it's a no-brainer, like it's common sense, like you could, uh, anybody could tell you that, and you go like, oh yeah, no, I get that, yeah, and that's true, that's true, um, but as we, as we do many times here on our talk, as we start up here, is this, this is where people uh, have their conversations, but we don't end there, no, we go into the depths, uh, into the depths of the mind, uh, because the mind is where everything starts, and in the mind, I'm not talking about in your brain, you know, this is your brain. If I were to open up my head, kind of like uh, that Mars movie with Schwarzenegger, and you got the brain sitting there. Uh, the brain is a uh, uh, quite a unique item. Yeah, quite a unique item. Uh, but it's it's. I would attribute it more to like a radio station than an actual um, uh, where the ideas come from. The ideas don't come from the brain. Uh, the mind and the brain are two different things, although the mind permeates the brain. It also permeates everything else. You know, mind is everywhere. So uh, the word mind can also be termed as God. It can be termed as love. It can be termed as um, my, my Uncle Stu. Uh, you know, whatever you want to call it. You know, but the point is, uh, is to understand not only is it there, but how do we use it? How do, how do we tap into mind? How do we connect with mind? so that we can uh, fulfill our dreams and, and do the things that we want and create what we call the um, do what you love, love what you do uh, scenario for your life. Now, uh, many people live you know, wonderful lives and uh, it's really great and they don't necessarily um, are conscious of mind, uh, but you have to recognize that uh, there's a lot of people that naturally tap into how mind works and they, they would say, well, I don't know. I've just been very lucky over these years. Uh, there's no such thing. Uh, luck does not exist in that respect. What does exist scientifically is that people are tapping into mind all the time and uh, not knowing, not, not understanding what exactly mind is. So um, the way that we, we tap in is not what we think but how we, uh, how we emotionalize our thoughts. So um, uh, regular thoughts are random. They can be in and out. Now, I've, I've, I've used this as a, as a description in the past that if you were at Disneyland and you were standing next to a line that was going on to the Pirates of the Caribbean and, every, and you would engage with every single person in that line, you're going to get a lot of different emotional stuff. But if you just observed these these people coming in, if you, if you were to say that each person is a thought, that thought is going to bypass you. If you don't give, if you don't engage, don't give attention to that person, you're not giving attention to the thought. The problem is that people engage with thoughts. A thought comes in and says, oh God, I'm too fat, right? And they start dwelling on that thought. They start talking to that thought. They start interacting with that thought. The whole line is holding up of all these other thoughts that are trying to get in. And, and, uh, but you're going to engage. You're going to suck into that, that fat thought. And you're going you're gonna to say, like, uh, the more you think about it, the more you emotionalize it. Now, now we talked about this, is that a, a thought is like a rocket, right? But a rocket is inert. It doesn't do anything until you add fuel. And emotion is that fuel. Uh, it's what gets us into trouble. A lot of the world right now is is highly emotionalized because everyone's feeling offended about every single freaking thing on the planet, right? And the way to get out of that is is self awareness, is uh, self realization, is the the understanding that the way you're using mind is not working well for you because you're beginning to attract a lot of situations and people and scenarios that can be very toxic. Now, if you have toxic situations in your life right now. There's a very easy way 
to get out of them. You have to stop giving those toxic situations and people your attention. It's very simple. Now, it's whether you'll implement it or not. It's a simple idea to understand. It's not so easy to implement because if that toxic person is your mother-in-law, you know, how do you get rid of your, of your mother-in-law? Well, I have, a, I have a solution for you. It's called the trunk of a Lincoln or a, you know, just a big car. Big, well, some mother-in-laws are not that big, so you can put them in small trunks, and that those work too. Toyotas, Toyotas have trunks. Hatchbacks work because then you can look at your mother-in-law through that. Yeah, you know, you get my drift. You get my drift. So, how do we get rid of toxic situations, and so that we can dream big, we can move forward, uh, is an art form. It's an art form. Uh, so we want to make sure that whatever we give our attention to is expanding us. Right In the same way that you would say to an 11-year-old, wow, you're really good at that. They expand and they blossom. Versus if you say, you know, stop doing that. You're being a bad kid. Bad, bad, short human. Right? You say that to a kid and they shrink. Right? But uh, you don't have to say it to a kid. You can say it to a person. So uh, someone posts something on Facebook and then you go and you criticize them for it. They shrink. Right? Uh, and then that shrinkage causes uh, everything from anger, rage, anxiety, um, uh, fear, insecurity, all, all these kinds of things. And we don't want people to experience that. We want to give love. We want to give love. And, and, and uh, the more love that we put out into the world, the more love is going to come back to us because that's where we're putting our attention into mind. Okay? So the more that we understand that mind is love, that's all. Not, not mind God is love. It's not like they're alike. They are the same thing. It's the same thing. It's like saying a, a car is an automobile. It's another word for the exact same thing. So God, love, mind, uh, spirit. You can come up with different words, but it's all the same thing. It doesn't matter what you call it. It matters that you understand how it works. Uh, turn off your hearing aid. That's pretty good. <laughs> yep. Uh, so, you know, meditation is a good way to do that. You, you, you close your eyes. You stop talking. You go someplace where you're not smelling pizza. Uh, or not listening to traffic, and you cut off the senses, and you go internal. And that's that's where mind exists, and you can tap into that. Now, with regard to dreaming big and focusing small, no vision is too big. Anything is achievable, anything at all. Uh, but it's important to understand that not everybody wants big things. There's lots of people that want a simple life. Now, you know, Kathy and I, we live in a, um, a, a nice place, uh, but I don't want a mansion that's got 32 rooms, 32 bedrooms, although... Um, uh, I just got an Instagram. Um, if each one of those rooms had a bed in it, we could bounce from bed to bed. That'd be kind of fun. Yeah. But I wouldn't do that that often, right? So I don't need 32 bedrooms or 20 bathrooms or, or uh, you know, a, a $25 million place. That's just, that's not me. You know, Kathy and I are more um, uh, outdoor people. Uh, we're not, we're not indoor people, even though I'm indoor right now, but uh, all of our vacations is that, you know, we we would rather go to um, to Switzerland or to to the uh, uh, the Virgin Islands or something where it's spectacular beauty outside, so you can be in the in the air and in, under the sky and and all that stuff. And we're not into staying at four star hotels, and and those are nice, those are great, you know. But uh, uh, those are all manufactured. It's like going to Hawaii, to this beautiful Kauai Island. And staying in a resort and never leaving the resort because it's just so beautiful. But everything has been built, right? Everything's been built there. And that's not the kind of thing that we are. Ham and pineapple. Pizza. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sounds good. Um, so not everybody wants a big vision. People want moderate visions. And, and it doesn't really matter what you want as your big vision. It just matters that, that you believe that you can have this, whatever it is that you want for yourself. So clarity, focus, uh, visualization are all really great te uh, good techniques, uh, but acting small is the key. Is the, it's the key here, and it's very important to understand that, is that it, it's not uh, important to understand or be overwhelmed. How do I, how do, I do this, this huge thing, right? What's important to understand is that you have a vision for that huge thing, whatever that is. You want to build a house, but you have to understand it. What's the first thing that you can do and what can you do today to move yourself forward? It's very simple. Um, it's just a question of whether you'll do those things. You know, you'll get off your ass today, talking to you, and, and do the things that are necessary to bring yourself an abundant life. 
right? Or you can sit on your hands and, and do nothing and eat your ice cream and, you know, and complain about um, certain people in government that aren't doing what you want them to do, right? Or bitch about the people that aren't supporting those people. You know, there's always something to complain about. There's always some way to be offended. Um, and you can spend your time doing that if you want. I'm just telling you that if you spend your time in criticism and in hate and in uh, judgment and being offended and all these negative emotions, you're adding those negative emotions to your rocket. And that rocket takes off and expands those emotions. Those negative emotions are going to expand. So hate leads to more hate. Anger leads to more anger. Rage leads to more rage. Uh, uh, insecurity leads to more insecurity. So that awareness, the awareness, our superpower, understanding, and we've said this on our talk many times, is your ability to choose. That's your superpower. Is that what you're going to choose today? Is that you guys all will have a different future presented to you based on the next thing you do after our talk. If you get up and go take out the trash, your future is going to be different than if you go take a shower. Right? The question is, what do you want your future to be? How do you want to feel? If you want to feel good, then you may want to take a shower first and then take out the trash, depending on how bad the trash is. Just saying. Right? Or if, uh, if the, the trash guys have been giving you a hard time or something really stinks in the house, it's probably better to take out the trash and then go take a shower. Right? You have lots of choices. You have infinite choices, but you have to realize that Everything is a choice. Everything is a choice. There's nothing that happens to you. There's nothing that you have to do. You don't have to pay the rent. You don't have to pay your mortgage. You don't have to, you don't have to love your kids. You don't have to do any of those things. You get to choose. You get to choose what you want to do. Now, you may say that, well, I have to do this because I don't have a choice, right? And how many times have you heard that? I've heard that infinite amount of times. But the truth is, you do have a choice. You're choosing that. You're choosing that particular thing. Focus on what you want, not what you don't want. That's right, Ken Vella, MC, MC Ken Vella. Fountain Valley, Fountain Valley, people. Let's let's uh, jump off track just for a second because Fountain Valley is coming up. Fountain Valley Car Show, August 29th. Big plug because MC Ken Vella is handling this. Uh, I'm going to go down and just kind of poke around, hang out. Great idea for a book, Choices. Yes, uh, great idea for a book, Um uh, although I would have a difficulty making a choice. Uh, oh man, I just got to focus on station wagons, you know. But uh, we did announce just the other day that um, we are doing a book on Sid Mead. We'll get into that. But anyway, so Fountain, you know, uh, uh, Fountain Valley is coming up August 29th. It's going to be an epic show. going to be uh, really fun. Looking forward to that. Uh, so dream big, focus small. Be consistent. Be consistent. Be consistent. That means that every day, work towards your goal. Even on, the, on your days off. Uh, and it's not just about um, your physical work. It's about your thinking process. Think about your goal. Talk about your goal. Act on the goal at hand. And you will achieve the goal. You can't not. You can't not. I'm giving you a guarantee. A success guarantee. Now, you can go and you can watch all these videos on how to make money. Uh, or watch all these videos on how to have the abundant life and drive a supercar and have a yacht and and all this nonsense, and you're, you can watch those freaking things all day long, and you know what you're going to get is you're going to get a lot of uh, video watching. That's what you're going to get, right? Uh, so ultimately, you have to see that uh, not everybody wants a, a supercar. I don't. I don't want a supercar. You know, I'd rather just go and buy the, the Hot Wheels version because they're, they're not very loud. Um, they don't, you know, the insurance is very low on the Hot Wheels, uh, and uh, uh, who needs it? Who needs it? I, I'm glad there's people out there that want that. That's it, really cool. Uh, and everybody wants something different. Not everybody wants BMWs. Uh, but the point is that whatever it is that you want, you can have. You can have it. There isn't anything that you can't have. You can have anything. It's just a matter of choosing that thing and starting to take steps towards that. Be consistent. Be determined. Don't allow um, the, the doctor knows of the world. To, to step on your toes as you're trying to move towards this thing. There's a lot of people that are going to tell you that's not possible. Uh, MC Canvella, there's uh, there's uh, parents that will tell you that um, uh, you're a loser or if you don't do the do it this way. You know, Ka Kathy's mom said uh, uh, if you were to, if you were going to do it the right way, you would have done it this way, which instantly says that you did it wrong. You did it the wrong way. Right. Uh, and that's that's not what we need. Uh, we need if someone does something wrong, just scratch your head and go, huh, that was that's one way to do it. You know, what's another way? Right. 
uh, and uh, and and who does it right right out of the gate to begin with as it is, right? Uh, we need to support people. We need to give love to people. We need to stop uh, this train of criticism and this nonsense that's going on in the world. And it starts with you. It starts with the the man or the woman in the mirror. So get busy putting uh, coolness out there, and coolness will come back to you. Craig Casey, you know what I'm talking about, buddy. Uh, um, some good stuff going on with your show. So uh, be passionate. Be passionate about you know you, you don't go after things uh, because someone else thinks that you should. Don't go after uh, after a goal because your dad said that was a worthy goal. You should you should do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a dad for a second. You should do that. You're not being a smart kid with your money, with your uh, with your wife, with you know whatever it is. It's a really bad dad. It's not a good dad at all. If I had a dad like that, I would just you know, run for the hills, go live on an island or something. Think, speak, and act with precision. Remember that. Think first. Use mind. Have your brain send out signals of love and receive signals of love, and you will receive inspiration. If you don't know what to do next, don't worry about it. You know, just stay focused. Stay focused on this is the goal that I want, and uh, I'm going to be inspired. Uh, an insp inspirational thought is going to come to me. I don't know what book to do next. I don't know where to go next. I don't know what what dinner to make next. I, you know, I gotta, I'm going to make dinner tonight. I don't know what I'm going to make, but I'm not worried about it because mind is on the case. Is on the case. I will receive an idea at some point today, which gives it'll give me enough time to go out and and get all the things I need to make a spectacular dinner. <laughs> and that's the way it works, people. Okay, so uh, that's what I have for you guys today on a Spectacular Art Talk Monday. I hope it was of value. If it is, and if you're enjoying these live sessions on Art Talk, there's just so much more at FireballTim.com. Everything from the masks and coloring books and all that stuff. You know, you can buy those things, and I really appreciate that and, and know that 10% of proceeds goes to Dog Rescue. But uh, more than that, on our Facebook pages, we're doing Wagon Wars uh, on uh, Instagram and Twitter and all that stuff. We're just trying to put goodness out into the world. And uh, if you if you feel that what we're doing is of value, then pick something up. If it's not, just hang out with us. Just hang out with Come to the car shows. We got the Fountain Valley car show coming up on the 29th. We got the Malibu Village show that we're going to every Sunday. So come up to Malibu Village, hang out with me and the legs of Giolino. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know. He, he was there. Um, who else? Uh, what else? Uh, and then we have on September 6th, keep your fingers crossed for the Muscles and Mojo and Vintage Market. That's going to be pretty exciting. And uh, and we're just going to keep going. This week, lots of stuff going on. Uh, stick with it. I expect a full report during the week of all the coolness that's happening in your life. Let me know. Keep me in the loop. Love you guys.